I mean, you're right about how shocking the Tories are. I mean, to be fair, Labour have actually, the, some of the stuff they're saying, it actually is genuinely quite... I love the idea of the new energy company. I'm going to be looking into that and trying to pull out some more details on that. But I think a, a, a state, you know, a nationalised energy company, brilliant idea. We need we need this kind of thing. It's not just, it's not just for the saving money, which I mean I don't know any of the details yet. So I am going to go and look. But I thought that's brilliant because it probably brings so many jobs, because this is the problem we've got. Our water companies are owned by foreign nationals, by foreign entities, by foreign governments. Our energy companies are owned by, you know, foreign entities. Why is this? We want the money from that. We want to circulate it. It's got to come back to us. We don't want to be throwing money offshore. We want it going around like a washing machine, staying in this country. Brilliant idea. Um, the getting rid of the waiting list. I mean, yes, that shouldn't be exciting. And that is a indictment of the Tories that it that actually returning waiting lists to something acceptable is exciting but I mean it's good more police on the beat brilliant again haven't looked into it think it's a brilliant idea um some of their policies do sound genuinely really quite exciting some of them are genuinely exciting but only because the Tories have, have just been so shockingly poor it's upsetting um but yeah, I am going to be finding out more about the energy company stuff and I will get back to you with that because I do think that is something we desperately need. And we do it with an energy company, then we could do it with some water companies, can't we? And then maybe, maybe our rivers would be back to clean again. That would be great, wouldn't it?